you're like me and you don't have a lot of equipment or you're just looking for something that you can run and gun with, throw a camera in, this bag is perfect. What's going on guys? This is my Tahoe BP150 we're gonna be taking a look at today. I'm just gonna show you what's inside of it. It's not gonna be an in-depth review. I picked this particular bag because of the way it looks and what it would hold, the fact that I don't have a whole lot of gear. It was like 70 bucks on B&H. Uh, it does have a pocket up here in the front. I don't really use that. I keep a manual in there. The face itself opens up to a pretty big compartment. I carry an iPad in there. This right here was the number one seller for me. Prior to this, I was using a sling bag and I hate them. I absolutely hate them. I hate them. I hate them. It also does have the netting on the side if you want to do a water bottle or uh, carry a tripod. It's got the little straps here so you can lock your tripod in. One of the things that are a pain is you have to undo the straps here, but it does make me feel my gear is a little more secure. I always keep them buckled up. All right, so what do we got in here? To start with, the SD card holder slot. I actually use that. My brother just asked me today, you actually use that? Yes, yes I do. In my main slot, I carry my Fuji X-T3 with the cage, and I always keep my 56-1-2. Over here is where I carry my backup camera, the Fuji X-T100. We just recently did a video between the X-T100 versus the X-T3 on image quality. We'll link that right here. You guys go check it out. I do want to mention that I just added a cage and a thumb grip to this. I spent 30, 35 bucks, I think, for both. It's definitely worth the money. In this pocket here, I carry a Rode Video Micro. Here below it, I carry some battery pouches. I always carry at least four batteries with me at all times. Luckily, both my cameras use the same batteries. I have a UV filter and a polarizer that I keep in this pocket. What else do I got in there? Oh, I got a GoPro. I carry a GoPro with me. My brother has, uh, he upgrades his GoPro every time a new one comes out, so I always get his hand-me-downs. Nice little bonus for me. Also, in this pocket here, I carry GoPro accessories. There's, a, I believe, a remote trigger in here, GoPro batteries. I also always keep a, an air blaster or whatever they want to call these little things. Always have a knife with you. You never know when you're going to use one. Uh, it's one of my things. I've always got a knife with me. And in this pocket, I carry the 18-55. to this is the kit lens that I bought with my X-T3, but I'll tell you what, it's it's an amazing, amazing lens. And this pocket over here, pretty much uh, junk and accessories. Chargers, lens caps, more chargers for the GoPro, straps, pretty much keep whatever you want over there. I know it's not an in-depth review, I just wanted to give you guys an overview of the bag currently that I'm carrying and what I'm carrying in it. I'm James, this is YouTube Creative. If, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button down there. Hit subscribe, hit the bell to be notified for future upcoming videos, and we'll see you on the next one.